and then I got word that my daughter was found from WAFB on Twitter before I even got word from a detective. And a detective. Nevaeh Allen was born to Lanaya and Marcus Allen. On September 24, 2021, Nevaeh was reported missing by her mother Lanaya and her stepfather Philip Gardner. Philip would tell police that while Lanaya was at work, he was watching the toddler and fell asleep. He was unaware that Nevaeh was missing until his older child came home from school and noticed the door open. He then called Lanaya, who came home and they both searched for Nevea. After reporting her daughter missing, she would hold a news conference with reporters. I don't know what could have happened. I don't know what went wrong. I wish I would have stayed home from work. I, I don't know. I was, I don't know. That's all I know. This morning I woke up, me and Nevea went to the store. I had to be at work for 8.15. I brought her to the corner store with me. I got her some snacks, some apple juice. We came back home. I finished getting ready for work. Nevea. The little girl, my little boy, and her daddy brought me to work, and that's the last time I see my baby. The last time I see my baby was before I went to work when I got dropped off. That's all. When I went to work, she had on her yellow dress with the pineapples on it, and she should have still had on that dress. She, she. Philip would later change his story and state that when he woke up, he noticed Nevea unconscious and decided to dispose of her body. He was then charged with tampering of evidence and disposal of a corpse. In this evening with breaking news out of Baton Rouge, after spending multiple days searching for missing two-year-old Nevea Allen, law enforcement confirmed that her body was found in the remote area of Hancock County. Her stepfather has been arrested. The FBI and Hancock County deputies have shut down Logtown Road off Mississippi 604 in Purlington to search for Nevea's body. Pearl River County Coroner, the Pearl River County Coroner, confirmed her body was found today. 30-year-old Philip Gardner was booked on counts of unlawful disposal of remains and obstruction of justice. Those charges are likely to change. Nevea Allen was last seen by Gardner around one Friday afternoon when he took a nap. She was not discovered missing until her siblings came home from school after four, saw the door open and the toddler missing. Gardner was brought in for questioning this weekend and they got enough information to charge him. Again, Nevea's body was found today in Purlington, Mississippi. We'll have much more on this coming up tonight. During interviews with various sources, it was stated that Philip was physically abusive towards Nevaeh and Lanaya. I'm not sure if people tried to intervene or not, but the public became outraged due to Lanaya not protecting her daughter. The community took to her Facebook believing she was more involved than what had been stated and even pointed out a picture which appeared to show a baby Nevaeh with a bruised eye. So it came to no shock when Linnea was eventually arrested for the murder of her daughter. Philip's charges were also upgraded to murder. Philip would later place Nevaeh's death all on Linnea and claim he only disposed of the body. Good evening to you friends, I'm Greg Merriweather alongside Elizabeth Bow. Just hours after police arrested the mother of Nevaeh Allen, we're finally learning what investigators believe happened to the baby girl. Investigators believe she had been abused even before the incident that led to her death. That's part of the reason why this afternoon police arrested her mother, Lanaya Cardwell, and slapped Cardwell's boyfriend, Philip Gardner, with additional charges. Investigators say both played a role in the baby's murder and attempted to cover it all up. Perry Robinson has been on top of the story since the beginning and has uncovered even more tonight. Perry. Hey, Liz and Greg, this is new video tonight of police escorting Nevaeh's mother to prison. And since our last newscast, we've also learned exactly what investigators believed happened, to, happened the day the toddler died. But we must warn you though, the details you're about to hear are graphic. Tonight, Lonea Carwell and her boyfriend, Philip Gardner, are behind bars for killing this sweet and innocent child, Nevaeh Allen. Carwell and Gardner were both booked on charges of second degree murder. And it saddens me to have to I stand here with our partners and hold a press conference to discuss the fact 
that this beautiful, innocent angel is no longer with us. According to arrest records, Gardner says on the day he reported the baby missing, he saw Carwell punch Nevea in the stomach for grabbing her contact lenses. The baby reportedly fell back and hit her head on the cabinet. Gardner then took Carwell to work. Investigators say Gardner then claims after a few hours, Nevaeh refused to eat and complained of stomach pain. Nevaeh apparently laid down on the couch and he later found her unresponsive. According to police records, Gardner told investigators he tried to give the baby CPR, but she was, quote, cold and lifeless. Investigators say he admitted to not calling 911 in order to protect the girl's mother. Instead, police say he stuffed the baby's body in a suitcase, drove to Mississippi, and dumped her in the woods. He reportedly even left his cell phone in the apartment, so police could not track it. Hours later, Carwell told news cameras she had no idea what could have happened to her daughter. I don't know what could have happened. I don't know what went wrong. I wish I would have stayed home from work. I, I don't know. I wish. I don't know. Gardner admitted to making a false missing person report, which led to a three-day search by local, state, and federal officials to find baby Nevaeh. The last time I see my baby was before I went to work when I got dropped off. And that's all. You having fun? Yeah. BRPD says the case is still far from over, with more details expected to come. You know, as a law enforcement agency, the safety of our citizens is of the utmost importance. And this is especially true for our children. What well, coroner has not released an official cause of death for Nevaeh, but today's arrest records revealed the baby did show signs of physical trauma. Police also claim Gardner witnessed other instances of abuse, but did nothing to stop it. Guys, back to you. All right, a tough case. Perry Robinson for us tonight. Thank you. Marcus Allen will later upload a video detailing what he knew about the events the day of his daughter's disappearance, also making it known that Lanaya and Philip were never married and that the person reporters interviewed as Nevaeh's grandmother was not related to her. He also pointed out how he found out about his daughter's body being recovered. And then I got word that my daughter was found from WAFB on Twitter. I wanted to mention that Philip and Lanaya have an 11 month old together and Lanaya is currently pregnant with their second child. This story is constantly developing and changing. We will keep you updated as we learn more. We pray for comfort for the Allen family and the other children of Lanaya. May Nevaeh rest in peace, forever two years old. Ready, set, go! Good job! <laughs>